He did have fun. Look at him go. Yeah. So this next level, this is your token um, backtracking maze where you get to get lost level. Um, if you don't know what you're doing and... Um, Very thankfully we have you here who is an experienced expert of MK Mythologies. Yes. And MK Mythologies, as in the backstory. <laughs> That's a pretty good uh, joke. <clears throat> it's not a joke, I'm really... I know a lot about MK. I would say That's it's, it. it's probably my number one favorite franchise. Like, what, number one of all? Yeah. Well, to be fair, uh, today's t-shirt does speak to that quite Yes, a just because I pretty much consistently like all the different media of MK, not just the games, but movies, the horribly written comics, the... The, the Saturday morning cartoon. Oh, one day we need to sit down and play MK Special Forces. Sounds good. Uh, I can beat that one quite comfortably too. Really? Yeah. Right up. Okay. Um, I've seen like about five seconds worth of um, uh, MK Special Forces. And, um,. I just kind of deleted it from my brain, <laughs> but I know it's not thought of particularly highly. I, I don't think it's as horrible as people say. It's kind of... Um, I mean, it had a lot of lost potential because of um, what it was originally supposed to be in the footage they were showing and how much they had to downgrade it. Oh, okay. So here's our first urn of vitality. Gotcha. Um, Let's not touch it. Uh, let's touch a herb. Um, so you have to save these, and then you can potentially beat the final boss. Right. Gotcha. Like, after you beat the first stage of the final boss, a portal opens, and you can leave it and finish the game. But if you have these, you can actually kill the second stage and finish and get the little funny bonuses at the end. Um, That's the golden. Okay, so these guys are kind of annoying. <laughs> See, these guys respawn. Uh, so so uh, trying to uh, cheese them out won't do anything. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the problem is, though, if you try to jump towards him, there's a good chance he's going to kick you and you fall. Okay. And if you fall, you're, like, um, you know, recoiling, so you can't even, like, gather your bearings. Okay, this is probably going to lead me to my death. So let's just... Yeah, okay. Um, this rope too, it, it disappears deceptively quickly underneath you, like, you'd be climbing down and before you know it, like, the end of the rope is there. Yeah. Uh, which key do I have? Okay. Um, so let's talk about the uh, Saturday morning cartoon a little bit. <laughs> Please fill me in on, on, uh, on that because I honestly know nothing about the Saturday morning cartoon. I, I know more about Street Fighter Saturday morning cartoon. Um, um, they had a semi crossover actually. They had a crossover? S semi crossover. They had this one, they had like four shows. They had Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, um, uh, what's that one about the, the green dragon cop dude? Dragon. Uh, it's it's something dragon. Um, Jake the American Dragon? No, no, no. It was like... It's not Blazing Dragons. Uh, anyway, they had like four cartoons going on at the time. And they, kind of, they created this plot device that like kind of united them all. So like you watch an episode of Street Fighter and they're dealing with this magical stone that has a lot of power and evil people want to... You know, use it for evil things. Um, Gotta get the stone. And then they cast it into another world, and then it ends up in the dragon cartoon. Oh. And then that, and then after that in Mortal Kombat, and after that in one other one about like space. I can't remember exactly. Gotcha. Um, so I'm assuming this Saturday morning cartoon didn't have much in the way of fatalities. No. Uh, it was as violent as 
any Saturday morning cartoon. So, so n no more or less by the sounds of it than a Street Fighter was. Yeah, uh, I would say so. Um, in terms of like story, it was interesting actually. A lot of people kind of, especially people who like really dislike the second movie, mm. um, kind of consider it to be the true successor to the first movie. Okay. Um, and it had some really terrific uh, voice acting and cast. Like, uh, you had uh, Clancy Brown as Raiden. Um, you had Ron Perlman as Striker. Oh! That actually sounds like a fun idea. You had uh, Luke Perry as Sub Zero. Okay. Uh, oh shit, okay, this is the end of the level. I need the final key for that. Uh, Cree Summer played Kitana. Um, those who watched Rugrats would know her as, uh... Was she... And, and Angelica? No, no, uh, okay. the, sorry, the black girl. What was her name? Susie? I can't recall. Um... Um... Who else? Um, so the guy that did Leonardo in the Ninja Turtles movie... Okay. Uh, played Liu Kang. So, you know, very... That's a good consistent very, choice. Very earnest and... The two characters share quite a few similarities. So. Yeah. Um, so those are like the most notable uh, cast members. Um, I don't know too much about the characters who did Sonya and Jax, but they were pretty good in their own right too. Like, so yeah, it was a well-acted cartoon. Um, obviously, a lot of people were like, well, it's Mortal Kombat. What's Mortal Kombat without... Ultra without violence. All the, oh, without all the gore and the rib cages being removed. Um, no, though. Yeah, that sounds like a that sounds like a better cast than I would have expected. Yeah, I was. But yeah, um, Clancy Brown as Raiden was fantastic. Clancy Brown in anything is fantastic. More than all the others, I'm actually uh, curious about uh, Mr. Ron Perlman. Now, now, now Stryker is not the most overwhelmingly interesting Mortal Kombat character, but I'll, I, but I, I checked it out to see him as Stryker. Oh yeah, Ron Perlman makes Stryker enjoyable in this show. Good. Um, so if I jump into the water, I die because obvious. Well, I guess it's a whirlpool. I guess whirlpools are dangerous. They are. Um, they suck you down. Although you don't actually get sucked down, you just kind of fall like it would be a regular pit. Yeah. Uh, I can... has programming. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um, same with the splash. Once you land in the water, wherever that splash was, that's where it's going to stay in terms of height. Gotcha. Yes. Oh, you son of a bitch. Um, so, yeah, the challenging thing about... <laughs> <laughs> I live for moments like that. Oh, that was precious. <laughs> um, the challenging thing about, you know, the bonus ending and collecting the urns, aside from the fact that you can't use them where you might need them, mm -hmm. is that it takes up inventory space. Right. Fuck. So, um... I was feeling hopeful that you were low, but not quite. So, it's okay. It's a recent enough checkpoint. So by the time you get to the end of the game, um, you need three spaces for the keys and five for the urns. And so how much space do you have left for uh, regular healing items? Um, well, I have two, two, I think, spaces left now, but I have a few healers still, thankfully. Um, oh, in this formula, that like reduces the damage you you take, as opposed to like making you flat out invincible. So that could be useful. I'll probably just use it on the boss in this level. Um, I came into this. Um, with a bit of a stink eye, with a bit of like a, well, let's, <laughs> fucking MK mythologies, but, um, this, uh, this, this, uh, this, this does feel kind of, kind of fun, um, I'm not gonna lie, like, like, I don't have hands on it myself, but yeah. perhaps I did not give it credit. 
Um, I don't think enough people do, honestly. Like, like I said, the terrible level design decisions. Um, but again, like that's something that a person would only know if they played the game enough. Right. Um, so I think most people just get turned off by the controls. I'm, I'm guessing this didn't have much of a testing period. Then. I mean, Midway was always really strict with their schedules. It seemed like. Gotcha. Um, I've never seen them, at least from Mortal Kombat, like I've never seen a case where a game was delayed well, and, and they would end up coming out with glitches and little broken things, so... Yeah. Um, well, to be fair, like, lay out, like we have to uh, stay on schedule because we gotta, gotta be Street Fighter, gotta be Street Fighter, right? Of course. Yeah. Okay, so here's another one. Um, once you use this key, the area you're in starts flooding and you have to run halfway out and then use your slide to get out the rest of the way. Okay. If you don't know how if you don't know that you have to do that, uh, you're screwed. Or you know you just die. <laughs> Where? What? Why was he hovering in place afterwards? Uh, because that old programming. Oh. No need to worry. Programming is hard. Sometimes Lin Kuei float when they uh when uh, they uh, pass. Why on. do characters float when you freeze them in midair? <laughs> that's that's ninja magic right there, my friend. They see that's a great <laughs> position to freeze them. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna kill all these guys. Really anything except for in the middle of a punch or, or kick or standing still. Anything but those three it looks goofy when when the characters froze. Sub Zero killed Scorpion. Killed gods. Dead by Electric Eel. What a champion that man. Ah, uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, good old um Irwin esque death. I wonder if uh Raiden keeps Electric Eels as pets. Ha! <laughs> okay, that see he, yeah. You just have to kind of catch yourself. Good use of uh, the environment. Uh, uh, bad use of the environment. <laughs> sometimes it gives, sometimes it takes away. Uh, for those who don't do Let's Plays, you're apparently a lot worse when you have to make commentary. Oh, y yes. I, uh, think, so, I uh, think both of us have, have uh, spent enough time on this at uh, this point to become quite accustomed with how much worse the, uh, yeah. the, this actually makes it. Yeah, normally like I can actually get through this game on regular amount of uh, lives, mm -hmm. which you get like five and then if you don't die too much, you pick up lives along the way, so it's not too bad. Um, uh, well, you know, it's not too bad if, like I said, if you don't, if you know where not to die. Yeah. Um, but hey, man, right now you have to be funny, so. So we see. have uh, nine lives. Crank at up the funny. <laughs> um, you actually have a thousand lives, so. Thousand. Yes. Oh, just, just a, uh, just a. Uh, that's the, that's the cheat. You get a thousand lives. Just a, uh, just a uh, visually cap set on that. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, remember there was a. A little scene in uh, Malcolm in the Middle, where I think it was Reese mm. who was like complaining that nobody believes him. He was like, nobody believes me that I beat Sub Zero, and they're like, come on, <laughs> nobody beats Sub Zero. <laughs> no one can beat that game. It's too fucking crazy. No one understands it. All right. Don't die. There you go. So mm. now, um, one of the pits that was empty has filled with water, so now you get to go there and there's going to be one of those floating barrel things. Oh, okay, okay. And that's where you go to get your uh, last key. Cool. Um, now where is that again? I don't think it's here, because that would be too easy. Would you stop? Okay. See, they despawn sometimes too, that's the interesting thing. Um, yeah. Kind of elusive like that. Ah, shut up. Okay, so I think the place I'm supposed to go is right underneath me, so like I would uh, would just stop. Hey man, he's doing his best. <laughs> <laughs> God bless him. If I can't hit him, I'm gonna scare the fuck out of him. So 
So if I go down, this should lead me to the right place. I do like the uh, ambient music on this. I do too, actually. Um, it's I, I, I will give it full credit. For it's that. easy to kind of. It is understated. It's easy to kind of ignore. So here, see, this is what ha this happens. So you just have to kind of freeze them and not drown. <laughs> oh no! Oh wait, Shadow should let that play. You ah. get to see him. So as thankfully, we, the, uh, as we pointed out before, the uh, kill screens are probably all available uh, on the tube. Um, what was I saying? Something about how that guy. The uh, last kick, <sighs> and then you can get to uh, the end of the stage. So, <sighs> okay. okay, yeah. So I've earned myself a uh, mid-air freeze. You've earned yourself a couple urns. <laughs> oh. uh, and then there you go. See, now he's not funny. Come on, dude. Until he blindsides you. Okay. There you go. See, in this case, I just have to float across. Somehow, the barrel doesn't get sucked in by the. Uh, Vortex, would you call it? Typhoon? It's not a typhoon, no. It's, um, it's just the right weight for it to float serenely in the middle of, of, of this oh, 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 whirlpool. Whirlpool, thank you. The most useless Pokemon move ever. The most useless HM, I should say. Oh, oh yeah, like, like it was only good for um, one generation. And then after that, it, it was just a bad trapping move. Yeah. It was such a annoyance. Like you have three HMs that are water based. Like, oh, you almost need like two water Pokemon just so that some of them can have a couple of like power moves. You know, um, four HMs that are water based. Uh, I I I don't forget there was um, surf, uh, whirlpool, uh, waterfall, and dive. Right, but uh, sorry, I meant like for generation two. Oh, okay, yeah. Dive wasn't it, I think. Uh, okay, this is where I get the other urn, that, which I already got, I think. I think Dive was one of my favorite things about Gen 3. It came as a complete shock to me that uh, they would put that in, but it was so much fun. I believe that diving was the only way that you could catch a uh, relicant, which was mm. on the ocean floor. Yeah, a lot of that was... Really, uh, okay, shit, never mind. This is, I've been here, so we use their first key. Can't wait till uh, the next level, which is gonna be our final one for today, but that's also where you get to. Um, so, there is a cap on how many moves you can, how much experience you can get per level, mm. and how many new moves you can learn. So, there's no sense in trying to grind forever. Exactly. It's just not gonna work. Exactly. So, in the next level, um, we get to unlock, uh, assuming we get the experience points, we get to unlock a move where if you freeze someone twice, you can uppercut them to death instantly. Okay. Which is hella useful if you want to get through it quicker. Um, oh, shut up. I still get lost in this game, in this level a bit. Ugh. Let's see it. <laughs> oh no! Goodbye, Sabi. Okay, so I'm gonna guess. I'm not. I'm gonna guess this is not the right way to go. But let's let's see where this goes. Nope. Okay, this is fun too. <laughs> right. There you go. Eels do not discriminate, my friend. Nope. See, now I have to waste one of my healers. Um. Such is life. There will be more healers. Oh, shut up. What are you going to do? Jump kick me? Do not tempt fate. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> right on the barrel, too, though! <laughs> yep. 
Not even a cool flushing animation. You know, I gotta say, I'd be pretty pissed, like... This is supposed to be the temple of water. Mm. But it's... It is basically a glorified sewer, so like... Yeah. If I'm the god of water, and this is my... The, the like, mortal's tribute to me, I'd be kind of pissed. Yeah, this is where all of one's uh, 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 refuse goes. It's like... This is just a damn sewer. It's like, uh... <laughs> I mean, maybe that's maybe that's what happened. You know, they were like, "Ah, oh, shit, we gotta build him a temple too." Hey, you know that new sewer system we built? <laughs> <laughs> this is our temple to you, oh mighty water god. Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. That would be fucking wild. Okay, so we do have to go here. Apparently, this is the area that we've been to that we thought was a dead end, which it, is not. It's not. There's fucking secrets here, I tell you. This is an MK game. We should have known cryptic secrets would have been here in abundance. But where are the uh, unlockable characters? Or the fake unlockable characters, for that matter. Which then became real un un unlockable characters. I almost wish some of these tertiary characters uh, ended up... Coming characters in MK. Okay, I think I got that hurt from here, yeah? Oh, come on! Show notes to Scarlet. Yep. <laughs> oh, no. He's a quick one. 80. Alright. We're safe. We're in. Alright, boss fight against uh, uh, Dr. Manhattan. I'm just gonna let that one hang. Let's see what, we, what we've got here. I'm eager to see why the comparison. Holy shit! <laughs> no, you're right. <laughs> if Doctor Manhattan was a Ken doll between the legs. Yeah. It's it. So one thing about this guy is it, it is fun to freeze him and uppercut him. Oh yeah, because he just straight shatters. Yeah. Too bad he doesn't shatter permanently. But, I mean, but also, like, the way he dissolves into water is pretty cool, too. It's kind of, um, interesting to watch. So maybe this would, wouldn't be the best character to uh, put into another game. No, uh... Outside of giving him a snazzy outfit, but... Waterman. Perhaps not quite There we go. Interesting. That's a death? Yep. I will give it full credit. That is a death scene. And and off he warps once more. His, you know it's the same it's the same exact like yeah, footage his too. Fingers spasming wildly. It's the same footage every time they just juxtapose it with different effects. Um so Fire Temple now. Our last temple for today. Oh this, what is this? This is gonna be fun. What is this visual glitch? I, I put in the good disc too. <laughs> you you have two copies of. I have two copies. One of them was looking a little scratchy, so I was like, I'm gonna get myself a backup copy just in case. Absolutely. Um. Since it's not on PSN. I um. I've got to be honest with you. I can't see Netherrealm uh, being. Very rushed in their in uh, their uh, efforts to put this on the PSN. Yeah, I wish they would put like trilogy on PSN though. That yes, absolutely. Um, but uh, considering that it doesn't run very well on any post PS1 hardware, I have a feeling that it wouldn't it would be the same case with uh, like their own proprietary um, PS1 emulation as well. So it probably just not work. Right. Uh, this is why you hire competent program and support your game. Okay, so... Ooh, this actually pretty nice temple. <clears throat> so this level has um, two monks in it. One of them is like kind of a stealthy dude with a low amount of health. And, and the other one is like a powerhouse that'll just obliterate you um, quite effectively. 
Alrighty. I got myself some herbs. Let's combine them with a uh, uh, potion. There we go. So yeah, this this combination of item thing, you know, the game is trying to be Resident Evil too, a little bit. <laughs> Just a tad. Um, and then we have these little switches. So. Here we go. Now this particular level doesn't have as much like cheap design stuff in it, thankfully. Like, you just have to watch where you're going. Two more urns of vitality. Oh, see, so there's the uh, fast guy who is is an asshole. Who is an asshole, but he doesn't have a lot of health. So you can like you can even like wheel him down through chip damage if he's blocking quite quickly. And then you have this guy who will who will do this and perform. He's basically like that's just Goro's throw. That's Jax actually. J uh, okay. uh, no. Um, a little dicey there, friend. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna run away from him. Look. Um. Ninja vanish. Um, I did get a checkpoint when I picked up the key, though, so it's not all bad. You're that's good. that's the other thing. You pick up a key, you get a checkpoint, so that's nice of them to do. That's quite forgiving. Uh, something about this game has to be a little bit forgiving. Yeah. Okay. And... Shit. Yeah, so... <laughs> I kinda wanna just beat him up. Um, that's the other thing, so... If an enemy is just off screen, they're less likely to block when you freeze them. Oh. Um, it's not like 100%, but yeah, like if they're off screen, they're usually uh, not as active, except some of them that like later on in the game you have these guys shooting projectiles, mm -hmm. and they'll shoot them from like max distance at you, you'll just have projectiles coming at you from nowhere. So that's kind of annoying, but uh, not as annoying as this guy. He's just a big beefcake. Yep. It's alright. The more they do this, the quicker I'm gonna get my uh, insta like freeze. Ah, uh, come on! Oh, that was a fail. That was a dicey rim. Did you say rim? What was the okay that never happened before? A spicy rim is something entirely different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you if you go to a Hawaiian brothel, don't order the specific rim. <laughs> In your hotel room. The uh, specific room? Pacific room. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yes. Ugh, okay, and then that beefcake guy is not far. And I'm gonna die by him again. No, you won't. Positive thinking. You're right. Oh! <laughs> You're right, I will not die by him. You will die by fire instead. <laughs> that sounds like some kind of a ritual sacrifice. Death by fire. All right, kid gloves are off. Time to get through this level. Ah, uh, fuck off. So I don't, I don't even want to so fucking waste next... time with you. Oh, he's quick. Not not quick enough to spawn in front of me. That's true. Ah, uh, fuck off. Okay, so um, the thing, the other thing is like, if you're near an enemy and like you're trying to fight them. Sometimes it will turn you around to face the enemy, so like, you're not gonna get like... Come on, there you go. You're not gonna get like, uh... 
Like, if an enemy hits you, you're gonna end up facing them. Okay. So, you're not gonna get, like, uh, hit, hit from behind. Um. Ooh, shield. Yay. Do you like me some shields? Uh, they make me happy. When the skies are gray. Wait, is that the last turn? Oh, no, that was, uh, extra life. Uh, That's the other thing. You know, very, not very, uh, clear. Not a lot of clarity as far as uh, what's an urn and what's not an urn. And urn, urns are like cups, and uh, those other things look more like lanterns. Got some nice drumming here. Yeah, pretty nice soundtrack. Damn, Toasty Borden is a good, good composer. So these things, thankfully, don't require uh, swinging timing. Uh, another extra life. I don't need that. How about giving me a... It's a little singe. Nothing that a master Lin Kuei can't deal with. Oh, I'll do. That'll do it. Oh, damn it! Respawn. <laughs> okay, we tried. We, we tried playing fair. This game won't have it. We'll have to cheese him out. Scumbag strategies are the only way to win. Yep, yeah, that's, that's what they teach these monks how to fight dirty. <laughs> Listen, if you're a monk, here's what you gotta do. Claw the genitals. Your kung fu is good. Tear out their hair. But my kung fu is better. There he is. Please excuse him. This this is wind blow. We have trained him wrong. As a joke. <laughs> Wait, was that a... Uh... From Kung Pao? Yeah, yes, yes, it was. <laughs> uh, if you had an ass, I'd kick it! <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna use this formula and then if they attack me, at least it won't take up as much damage. Um, again, the eye is somewhat useless. Also helps with, with our traps. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I didn't really need to pick it up, but may as well just. Oh. Okay, I think he just hit. This guy's like a fucking kid. <laughs> runs up to you and throws like sand in in like your drink and then zooms away as fast as he can. Yeah. He like he's not even like a huge threat, he's just like a, an annoying fucking brat. Yeah. <laughs> uh what does that remind me of? Or But yeah, no, you nailed that analogy. Ugh. Not wasting my urns, not wasting my urns. Damn straight, we're not. Suck it, dude. We're gonna get that damn final boss. Alright, there we go. Uh, Come on, check for Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> uh, great, I have a uh, potion, but no, sh no, uh, oh, no, no herb. To mix it with. How about give me a herb right now? No! Ah. Okay, where are we? Ah, still back at that. Okay, so I am. Oh, okay, no, I have the, the shatter move. Excellent. Alright, guys. Uh, you're so dead, all of yous. All of yous are so dead. Now the game is easy. Well, at least less annoying. Now the game's a cakewalk. You heard it straight from Eric himself. Yes. Th this coming in live from Eric, he will not take one more hit to listen to. Oh no! Well, I can't freeze fire. Commentator's curse, Eric. See, look. I, I, I'm so oh! And it's very satisfying to do. Especially. 
Where's one of those little quick punks? Now I embrace. I mean, that guy's gonna get himself killed on these things, apparently. Oh, yeah. Is, is he taking damage from the force? Um, I don't know, considering how quickly he went, he, like, pops in and out. Mm -hmm. um. Aha! Screw you, dude. He's gonna respawn and appear behind me, isn't he? Probably. Be careful. Oh, motherfucker. Yikes, yikes, yikes! Oh! What the shit? Okay, that was, uh... You know what, there's been a severe lag hub in this, in this Let's Play. What's that? Um, quotes from, uh, Mr. Freeze from Batman and Robin. Oh, nice to see you. I I don't think that I watch Batman and Robin, so uh, you you're, you're gonna have to uh, put the corner first there. Well, nice to see you for one thing. Cool off. What killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age. Of course. That's it's, that's pretty good. Okay. All right. This is the one, folks. I, I feel it in my frozen gut. You got it, Subby. Oh, okay. Thanks for vanishing. Okay, here we go. Alright. Potion mixed with herbs gives us a healer. And room for a key and I think I'm at the end of the level now so we made it um, there is probably a monk here one of the big fucking dude or, or one of the little annoying dudes just fuck off dude oh, no. yes. ah. okay what can I throw away nothing nothing I can heal myself now but I feel like um, once I start the boss fight, I should be regenerated. Let's find out. Let's find out. So this guy's a bit of a Raiden ripoff in his design. Okay. Uh, they they slapped a. Actually, Sub Zero looks nothing like Raiden. Ha 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 ha! Oh the no! Boss. The boss. I mean, they slapped a uh, a straw hat onto him. I can't believe you're fighting Luffy. So there's the amulet in the background. Oh, the Kamidogu, or something of the sort. The Kamehameha. It's the uh, thing that Jake that um, everyone is trying to get in uh, attempt. It's the MK Guffin. Yes, it is. The MacGuffin with a K. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah. So this guy can be a little like. I I can't. You can't freeze him, obviously. I I can't believe that. Fucking Sub Zero stole this thing before anyone else had it. It's very interesting to me. There you go. And now we are treated to another wonderful FMV. Oh, goodness gracious, full attention. Types are weak against fire. I thought you were already on the top step. What? I have Shrek's amulet. So whose amulet is my deity, more of another realm, and soon destroyer of your Earthman. What are you talking about? This amulet is the King Shrek's power of an elder god. When returned to him, he will regain his powers and be free from the Tanbats. Of the Netherrealm. And the Shao Kahn was. Shao Kahn is nothing but a better lord of a long dead realm. Shinnok! 
is the destroyer of all worlds, including Khan's outworld. Destroyer of all realms, you are insane. That amulet isn't worth the bronze it's molded from. Believe what you will, Sub-Zero. Goodbye. This guy was, by the way, the one who did the uh, digitizing for Kano in MK1 and 3. He looks so fucking... Look at him! <laughs> He's sad. I was just learning my thing. Your plan's ignorance and greed will cost this entire world. You'll now have to set things straight. Machi could simply be a lunatic sorcerer. I never heard of another god named Shinnok or of a place called the Netherrealm. You've got to start believing in both. Because you're going to the Netherrealm. You're going to the I want that gif. Well, I want a gif of 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 like Sub Zero just like half drunkenly like sad walking <laughs> down a flight of stairs. Okay, so this is basically the turning point in the story and the perfect place for us to call it a night. Let's do it. Uh, we will escape from the prison of souls next time, folks. Next time. Thank you. For joining us, this is Eric. This is Matt. This has been 21st Century Arcade. And this has been Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub-Zero in all its... All its glory. Ham-fisted glory. Have a good night, folks. Take care. Hug your loved ones. <laughs>